My name is Mike Lerac. I am uh, Irish and French Canadian. Uh, that means I am uh, obnoxious enough to start a fight, but uh, cowardly enough to run away before it gets to the And as a bonus, the Canadian part likes to apologize later. <laughs> Farther we talk about the Olympics, man. Make some noise if you watch the opening ceremonies this year. <laughs> that tracks, all right? That tracks. Because this year's opening ceremonies got the worst television ratings of any Olympics in history. It's true. Yeah. Now, in fairness, they aired at 6 a.m., which means they had to compete with an infomercial for Flex Seal. <laughs> okay. Fair being fair, right? 6 a.m., what do you want to watch? A country try and cover up a genocide? <laughs> or a chubby Italian guy sorting a boat in half? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like watching the Olympics very much, but the, the thing that bothers me about them is uh, ever since Simone Biles, NBC has been trying to turn every American Olympian into some human interest story, right? And so they gotta tell you about all the trials and the hardships that they've been through on their way to the Olympics. Here's the problem. This is the Winter Olympics. All right, which means it's almost exclusively white kids with rich parents. Right? But nobody's ever luged their way out of the fucking projects, right? <laughs> I'm just saying, there's not a lot of disadvantaged youths hanging out in Park City. That's really what I want to say. I kind of resent NBC for feeling like they have to do that to get me on their side of the athlete. I mean, you know, I, it's the fucking Olympics. I was already pulling for our guy, you know? It's like, I don't know. I mean, we got like a 20-year-old kid from Cincinnati going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Iraq and North Korea. You can spare me the fucking sob story, okay? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Does anybody else think it's weird that Jill Biden doesn't have a thing yet? <laughs> hey, like every first lady is supposed to have some cause that they can get behind. Like back in the 80s, you had Nancy Reagan, right? Say no to drugs. Michelle Obama got to fuck with the school lunches for a couple of years. You guys Where the hell is Jill? Even Melania Trump, you get this, Melania Trump had a thing. Her cause was about raising awareness for cyberbullying. <laughs> Melania Trump. <laughs> I love that, dude. I love that so much. Think about it. She's out there all day. She's giving speeches. She's like, bullying is bad. <laughs> She comes home and fucks Biff Tannen from back to the future. <laughs> so I'm not very good at arguing with women. Uh, I don't know how you get off the vibe with somebody. Especially in relationships. I don't know what it is. Never in my life have I any, had any luck arguing in relationships. Every argument I ever get into with a woman that I, that I care about, it always ends up the same way. It's always like a Harlem Globetrotter game, where she's the Harlem Globetrotters and I'm the other team just getting dunked on for two and a half hours. <laughs> Fellas, back me up. You can feel when there's an argument coming on, right? It's in the air. It's like that moment when the drums stop in a jungle movie. <laughs> And I used to care more back in the day when I thought I could still win one. I'd be in the bathroom and shadow boxing and shit, sucking myself up. And I still got smacked around, so I changed the way that I look at it. You know, I handled the argument differently. Nowadays, I handle the argument in a relationship the same way that a five-year-old handles a game of Mortal Kombat. Okay, I know that I got no chance of winning here. So I'm just gonna have some fun pressing buttons. <laughs> She'll make some perfectly valid point. I got nothing, so what do I do? I hit it with the combo. I'm like, I knew you were gonna say that. You sound just like your mother. And truth be told, it doesn't matter what I say, because in 30 minutes, I'm gonna have to apologize anyway. I figure, might as well work in a couple of body shots. <laughs>